Welcome to Terry's Kitchen, where we talk food, faith, and family. Well, today is another exciting day in the kitchen. We are, well, first you're going to notice that this is not our kitchen. We are on our first location. We are at Jim and Donna Rose's house. And Jim, and you've heard me talk about Jim and, and Donna. They're the ones that I get the beef from, fresh vegetables. Well, this is their daughter-in-law, Brittany, who is one of my wonderful subscribers. And the reason you get your recipes in the comments is because of Brittany. So today, we are going to, well, I'm going to assist Brittany making her, Brittany's, honey wheat bread. So, but before we get started, I'd like to read today's devotion. Hope is a golden cord connecting you to heaven. This cord helps you hold your head up high, even when multiple trials are buffeting you. I never leave your side, and I never let go of your hand. Praise the Lord for that. But without the cord of hope, your head may slump, and your feet may shuffle as you journey uphill with me. Hope lifts your perspective from your weary feet to the glorious view you can see from the high road. You are reminded that the road we're traveling together is ultimately a highway to heaven. When you consider this radiant des destination, the roughness or smoothness of the road ahead becomes much less significant. I am training you to hold in your heart a dual focus, my continual presence with the hope of heaven. Good word, I tell you, our devotions, they always hit home <laughs> for whatever you need that day. And I'm going to our meditation moments that our friend Debbie shared with us. And if you're feeling stressed or feeling blessed, these little uh, uh, meditation moments kind of lift us up. Life without God is like an unsharpened pencil. It has no point. Isn't that kind of cute? So thank you, Debbie, for that. And before we go wash our hands, I'd like to just have a, a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you, Father, for this time that Brittany and I can cook together. And, and thank you, Lord, for your presence today. And as this bread rises, we thank you, Father, that you are taking care of our lives, leading and guiding us each day. We thank you, Lord, and ask this in your precious name. Amen. Thank you for letting us do that. So we're going to wash our hands, and then we're going to get started. And I'll be Brittany's food chef. This is going to be so exciting. All right. So. Okay. You tell right. me what we're going to do. I'll get these out of the way. So on the recipe, it says just mix everything together. But in past, I've learned that you need to mix the water and everything with the sugar to get that mixed up first and then add your yeast to activate the yeast. Okay. So we'll be adding four cups of lukewarm water. Oh, wait, do you find it difficult getting your water to lukewarm? No. Or are you to, okay, I just, wonderful. I just do it. Sometimes and then, bread intimidates me. I know. <laughs> I know. So. And I've never had an issue with it. Well, that's good. And that's the reason we're watching you do it. <laughs> yeah. And then I add the oil, and I use olive oil instead of vegetable. That's a good idea. I use a lot of olive oil too, so. And then you add uh, the salt. It's one tablespoon of salt. And you mix that together. So how long have you been making bread? Since I've been married. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, Brittany is not only married, but she's the mother of some just gorgeous twin boys. And they're almost going to be 11 months? They are 11 months. 11 months. So maybe during this segment, um, uh, Nana has, uh, has them back um, off camera right now, but we'll bring them on in a little bit uh, so you can see how handsome them boys are. You want to hold that? Uh, yes, yes ma'am. 
And then I take and I added the sugar. I do one eighth of sugar. The recipe calls for one fourth, but I cut that in half and do more honey than oh. anything so you have your natural honey. Wonderful natural idea. Sweetener. That's a good idea. One of these days I'm going to get healthy and, and do all those <laughs> good things to help. But no, that is good. And what a wonderful thing to have that natural and, and honey is good for so many things. So. Yeah, and that was three-fourths of honey. That went in there. And then you mix that up. It's looking good. Looks like she knows what she's doing here. And then you take and you just sprinkle the yeast over the top and you want to make sure you don't mess with the yeast too much. So just a little and then this is where we add the flour. This is where I get to, to <laughs> put, get put to work. So, so one it level like this? Yeah. Or it doesn't matter. So, okay. Yeah. And there's eight cups of flour. So who's keeping track? Am I to do that? Yes, I'll do that. You tell me when. Okay. So we got two. Okay. Three. Okay. Four. I'm starting to smell that yeast as you're mixing there. Yep. starts getting formed and a little bit hard to mix with the whisk, then I'll start doing my hands. So six. Okay. Oh, I'm getting our rings and everything uh, off before you get into that good old so, dough. Yes, you can smell that yeast as she's, Brittany's mixing the, that uh, good yeast smell that, with the bread. Right. So, so seven. And then this is whenever you fold. Because with bread, you need not to mix it too much or the dough will be tough. Oh, ah, okay. So don't mix a lot. It's kind of like pie dough. Yeah. I, I don't mix a lot when I'm doing my pie dough. Okay, you ready for me? Yep. So that's eight. So. so how many loaves of bread do you think you've made? Uh, probably see. 30 or so. 30? Wow, boy. Because every batch I make, it's at least three. Oh, loaves. three loaves. Okay. And Jim really likes the, the honey wheat. Oh, I bet, I bet. That's so. one of the main reasons why I found the recipe. Oh, you know, sweeten up the father-in-law, right? <laughs> so this is nine cups. Yeah. So let me drip out this a little bit. You can just... Just put it in here? Yeah. Okay. You're good. All right, there we go. I wanted to make sure I was accurate here. Well, that's okay. Okay. And it might take a little bit more. So I'll get some over here? Yes. Okay. Because you got to keep kneading it until it gets elastic like and not sticky to your hand too much. Okay. So am I getting another whole cup? So we're yes. this will be ten. And does it change for the day, whether humidity and all that? Well it all depends on okay. like how how much you mix or whatever. Okay. Because most of the time it's right on the eight cup, but it just depends. Okay. Now, oh boy. Okay. This is, this is where the work and the muscles come in. Yep. And you got to make sure you get all the flour mixed in so it doesn't have chunks of flour. 
unbaked flour okay. in the middle of it. Okay. And a nice big bowl. Yep. <laughs> Any I, more flour? No, this is good. Okay. So, yes, it's all over my hands, but you take and it looks elastic almost, and that's what you want it to look like whenever you get it done mixed mixed up. And then after that, we'll let this set and raise okay. for 90 minutes. Okay. So. So we will be back after this rises and we'll show, and have the pans here ready and, and we'll get it ready for uh, the next process. So see you shortly. Okay, so we are back. And Brittany, we have some bread that's going to be ready to get into some loaf pans. So I'm going to let Brittany <laughs> share what we need to do next. Okay. So to let your bread rise, you need a damp, warm cloth that I put over top of it. And you put it in a warm place to let the yeast rise. So here's what our bread looks like. And then you toss that to the side. Here's the extra flour. And then you just punch right here. And then give me some butter. That, you this put, chunk? Yeah. Okay. You put butter on your hands. That's one step I forgot to do before punching it. All right. So you just you take just, what you want. You just grab it and you put it over your hands like you're doing soap. All right, yeah. lather it up with some yeah. butter, and I love butter. And then you grab your dough. Can you put some flour out on the, the counter here? Yep. All right. Please and thank you. So, how much? Just do, you it mind if, do you mind if I just put my hand in there? That's fine. All right, we're going to do that. There, is that enough? More. Well, like you would for pie dough. Well, then, okay, then we're moving this out of the way, and we're going to put some flour down on this counter. There we go. All right. Okay. Now, Grandma Rhodes always says we got to go ahead and do them and we got to oh. make sure each is equal. Okay, but well, we got to listen to Grandma Rhodes. Yep. We've got to do that. I tell you, you all cannot smell the aroma coming just from the yeast rising. It smells so good. So you take and you tuck the outer edges underneath. So you got a perfect loaf. And it's so smooth. And yeah. Yep. Oh, you're so, good. All right, you tell and me, yeah, I, you know where put, I need to be helping out here. You just put more butter on you. Oh, this is wonderful. And it does make a lot, a lot. Yeah, the first time making this, I didn't know how many loaves it would make. Mm -hmm. So here I am with all this dough, and it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going to put it? It just kept on growing. Yep. So what what would you say that's the size of? I don't know. I don't know either. I just grab it, uh, and you got to make sure it's all in what you want to do it in. So Honestly. you make your kitchen, whatever you're doing, it's all good. You make it your own, right? Yeah, and if you mess out, then just throw it outside and try again. Well, we were talking <laughs> off camera, and, and with Brittany, I said, you know, I'm just so impressed that yeast kind of intimidates me, and you've heard me say that. Uh, more flour? Well. Or what you need now? Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Hold that thought. I'll come back to it. So... These look all equal. Okay. We need to make one of these in half to fit in these two little ones. Okay. If you can, you're going to get your hands dirty. Oh, I'm good with, with that. With the butter and go into them. And just get them all lathered up. Yep. All right, I can do that. And then you pinch that in two. Uh, well, these are cute little individual. If you want to give those away, see, it's a it's a win-win. So again, you hear me say that you know 
If you've made extra, share with your some friends or family or somebody that's on their own. I love to share food and they love to receive it. So, so oh, isn't that precious? I love there you go. cute little things like that. Look at that. So, and again, you take and you fold underneath to make sure it's all nice and smooth on the top. Because I did it once and it wasn't smooth and Miss, well, Grandma Rhodes made sure to tell me that that was not right. <laughs> But you need those people that has done it to tell you, and that's how you learn. So this okay. looks like it's already been lathered. Yeah. All right. I sprayed it down before. Okay. Well, we might take and combine the two, or we might just make a little bit more. I'm good. You tell me what we're going to do, and, and I'm good with it. All right. We're going to do that. Okay. I, I'm just impressed of how smooth that dough is. Yeah. Looks good. Like you've made it 30 loaves. Yeah. But when that just makes perfect. That's right. So when we, I'm going back to to saying, you know, when she says that if it, she she just delved right into this bread when she started making it, and she was like, you know, if it doesn't work, just throw it out back. It's all going to be good. So it is all good. So don't don't feel like it, you're in, intimidated or have to be intimidated by it. So, all right, let yeah. me lather, lather. Because it is what it is. You need not to get too worried about it. Because at the end of the day, most people are just going to be happy that they got something fresh. True. So that is so true. We should market that saying. That is a good <laughs> saying, Brittany. All right. All right, I have a little bit of butter here that I can, I feel like I'm going to be able to lather go. that up good. And, and then, as you can see, I know it's not all the way to the end, but oh bro, you don't want them too crazy anyway. So, and as you see, I'm flipping it, the dough over in the flour so it's not as sticky whenever I'm playing with it. So and could you use this dough for cinnamon buns? Yes, I've actually used this for cinnamon rolls whenever Jim asked for cinnamon rolls. Okay, did you see my YouTube video? Yeah. He did, all right. So, Love that. And then after that we will, well I don't like the way that looks. Okay. The baker does not like the way that looks so she's going to reshape. Because you know, Grandma Rhodes is in your is, is in your <laughs> ear up here saying, "Now, Brittany, yep. that does not look right." Yep. You want you want to wrap your hands yep. around that a little bit? Well, get the other side. Oh, okay. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so I, I, it's all good. It is all good in the kitchen. <laughs> it is all good in the kitchen. Um, you just there you go. Mm -hmm. When Grandma Rhodes sees this, she's gonna say. Thank you, Brittany, for checking this out and keeping that straight and perfect like I taught you. There you go. Does that look better? Yep. All that right. Works. And you can add butter to the top, but I usually do that once it comes out. So we will put all of these. I'm going to wash my hands. But we're going to put these in the oven on 400 for 30 minutes. Okay. So we're going to be back. Okay, so we're back. The kitchen is smelling wonderful. And as you can see, we've added some people into our video today. So we have Donna, which is Brittany's uh, mother-in-law. And most importantly, we got the twin boys. Aren't they handsome? I'm holding Joseph. And Donna has Samuel. So <laughs> we are going to, the, the bread has baked. It was in about 30 minutes. And so Brittany's going to take it from here. It smells wonderful in here. Okay, so after it comes out, you want to put it on the cooling rack and go ahead and take your butter and, of course, get it on your hands and just wipe Lather over the up. very top. <laughs> More better. That's right. I'm with you. So you've got your fingers in your mouth, so you know that what's good here, don't you, Samuel? Yep. See, this is good eating here. Yes, it is. 
This has just been such a fun, fun day baking and, and spending time with everybody here. And I said, get, getting some baby time and some rocking in. And, and we've, I got to feed one of you. I got to feed Samuel. Samuel. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So this is so exciting, I tell you, being in the kitchen and, and fellowshipping with, with friends. It's wonderful. Okay. So I hope yeah. we get a sample. We'll take this loaf. Now be careful, because all the knives around here are really sharp. <laughs> That's the way a good kitchen should be. Those knives Master should be Jim. sharp. Yeah, say pop, pop, make sure the knives are sharp. <laughs> oh, it is beautiful. Oh, my. Look at that piping steam. Yes. Yep, piping hot. So, Brittany, do you think Grandma Rhodes would be proud? Oh. Well, wait a minute. Go in the middle and see. She'll check out the mill streak. Right? You know what Grandma Rhodes does? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure it's done all the way, even in the middle. I think we're good, Brittany. There we go. Oh, right. And then, of course, you put butter on it and some blackberry jelly. That was made here on the farm? Is that what, some of yours? Yeah. Oh, wow. From the blackberries. Or apple butter. Yeah, or the apple butter. butter from church. Yeah, from Zion oh, Christian Church's oh, apple butter. That's right. So we all get, uh, get a sample here. Oh, boys. That looks wonderful. <laughs> Samuel? <laughs> yes, yeah, Samuel. Samuel said, ooh. It might be a little hot for you, little one. Yes. What about Joseph, huh? You think it might be a little hot? Breaking of the bread. Breaking of the bread and, you know, <laughs> communion. This is communion. Oh, yeah, that's a little hot. hot. It is hot, but I'm still babies. going in. <laughs> oh, my word. Make sure Mr. That John is has so babies. good. All we right. got to give our the cameraman, cameraman a piece. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Brittany, okay. this is wonderful. This bread, you definitely need to make Brittany's mm. honey bread. This is so good, and as you can tell, it was easy and worth it. Thank you so much to you all for allowing us to come into your home and cooking and baking with you, sharing time with the kids. So thank you for watching our videos, liking and sharing. If you would like to subscribe, we would love it. And thank you for watching our videos. We do appreciate it. Blessings.